and thanks for joining me for another episode of Business and Legal Q&A. This is utlradio.com, your business success and legal information station, and I'm your host, Peter Lamont. Today we've got a, a pretty cool question. It's uh, a little different, and it's, uh, I think, something that people often wonder about. And it deals with listening to music in the workplace. Is it a good idea? Now, before I get to today's question, I just want to thank today's sponsor. And today's show is sponsored by GasStationBusiness101.com. If you have ever thought about owning a gas station, managing a gas station, um, building a gas station you know, chain or brand or whatever it is, if it involves gas station as a business, you have to go to GasStationBusiness101.com. It really is an awesome site. It has so much information that can help you build your business or manage and uh, you know have your existing business prosper. In fact, GasStationBusiness101.com has recently launched a podcast. And on this podcast, they answer all sorts of questions that pertain to the gas station business. And I think it's a really, really great um, resource for anyone who is either in the, in the business or is looking to get in the business. I'll give you an example. One of their podcast episodes, their recent ones, is how a 10-step appearance improvement made a store go from loss to profit in just two months. Here's another one. How to increase your bottom line profit by $1,000 a month without increasing your sales. So if this is of interest to you in gas station business, check out GasStationBusiness101.com. And I'd like to thank them for sponsoring today's show. All right, so now back to our question. Is it a good idea to listen to music in the workplace? Now, the question that was submitted is kind of a general one, and I don't know specifically if the person asking the question is working in an office that's filled with cubicles, a doctor's office, a warehouse, and so it, it's tough to really give a definitive answer, but what I'm going to do is give you some guidelines and some things that I would think about if I were you. All right, so first off, let me just uh, say this one thing. I am one of those people that happens to need to have music throughout the day, all day long. Um, you know, the, the type of music will vary depending upon the task that I'm actually engaged in, but the fact is I have music playing just about 95% of the day. And I think it's, it's beneficial. It definitely helps me focus on what I'm doing. And it also is something that, you know, I encourage people in my office to, to, to do, to listen to music. You know, it's, um, it's kind of very nerve-wracking for me to hear silence and just the, the clicking keyboards. You know, I like to be able to have some sort of background music, background noise. Um, and I think it's, it's a benefit to productivity in the office. Place. Okay, now that's my general observation and my general belief. However, some of these guidelines that I'm talking about are, are as follows. First of all, you have to make sure that you are playing music that is appropriate to the type of profession that you're in. In other words, you would not want to be a business or a doctor's office playing Eminem. Now, there's nothing wrong with Eminem. I happen to like some of his music, but that's not the kind of thing that you would want playing in a workplace where it could be offensive to people, where it could turn clients and customers away, or create a, a hostile work environment for that matter. So you have to use common sense. And that's why there are so many easy listening stations out there, especially whether it's on satellite radio or your local uh, FM radio stations. They all have those easy listening and it's really meant for the general public, especially in office settings. Now, sometimes, you know, it's referred to as elevator music, and, and I understand that. But if you're going to play music as background noise in an office where you're going to have people coming in from the outside and employees, then it's a good idea to make sure you go very middle of the road and it's nothing that's going to be offensive. Now, let's say you're in a warehouse, and, and this has happened to me many times because some of our clients, uh, they, they have large warehouses. And 
the workers in the warehouse typically do not see a lot of outsiders. In other words, they're moving around materials, but they really don't see a lot of people other than maybe a delivery truck. And so I've been in these warehouses, and they're listening to things that are, you know, more hardcore rap, maybe some hardcore heavy metal, and some of it can be offensive and, and, and really hardcore. And, you know, I've gone in there, and it doesn't bother me, but I've said to some of these guys, hey, listen, you know, just be aware that if one day someone walks in and you're playing this kind of music and they're offended, you're going to potentially have a problem. So, you know, just be aware of that. And that goes back to what I was saying with common sense. You know, you don't want something that's going to be offensive playing anywhere because, you know, there's always that possibility that someone could come in, hear something, be upset, whether it's an employee or an outsider, a customer or a client, and, and, you know, create trouble for you. And you just don't need that. So be smart if you're going to play music. Now, the other thing is, is that you don't want something that's so loud and distracting that it actually prevents your employees from doing their best. And, um, you know, I talked a few weeks ago about whether or not I listen to music when I draft legal briefs. And it was a question that was submitted um, to the show. And, and, you know, I said yes, but I listen to specific types of music when I'm focusing. So I'll listen to classical or new age music when I'm focusing in on something really, really detail oriented or really um, high intensity. Okay, I'm not going to listen to words or lyrics because that tends to distract me when I'm trying to formulate things in my head. You know, and I hear these, these words and it's kind of like distracting. So if you are interested in playing music in your workplace, make sure that what you're playing is not going to distract people. If you are playing, you know, easy listening music and it's a, a general reception area, that, that shouldn't be a problem. But let's say you've got, you know, somebody that's doing very intricate work. You have to make sure that whatever you're going to play doesn't distract them. And, you know, that doesn't mean go around every person and say, is this going to bother you? Is this going to bother you? But just use common sense. And the other thing that, that you need to know about is volume. Make sure that you're setting the volume of what you're playing at a reasonable level, one that's not going to impair somebody's ability to get their work done. So that being said, I am a big fan of music in the workplace. I think it actually helps morale and productivity. But you have to do it smart. You have to make sure you're listening to things that do not offend people, do not distract people, and are not too loud. Well, I hope that that helps. You know, again, this is a, you know, kind of a trial and error thing. You have to go and set this, this ball in motion and see how it is received. You know, does your office staff like it? Do they not like it? Is it something that's going to help or not help? Some people can't stand listening to music when they're doing things, and you're going to have to deal with those types of, of people and, and ultimately do what works best for the majority of the company because they're, the majority, that's where you're going to get most production. So, um, you know, try it out, see how it goes, and just don't be so rigid and say, this is what we're listening to, this is what we're doing. Be flexible and see what works, what doesn't work, and be willing to make changes whether it's changes in the type of music, changes in when during the day you know music is played or the volume, any of those things, just be open and give it a try. And I think that you'll find that you'll ultimately settle in on that right, you know, that right, that sweet spot. So uh, hopefully that answers your question. Um, before I sign off today, I just want to remind everybody to make sure that you visit utlradio.com. There are so many articles and, and videos and so much information on the site both business and legal, that can help you. And, um, you know, it's just a great resource to go to. And for those of you listening to this podcast, don't forget that there's a YouTube channel as well. And I encourage you to go to YouTube and subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when new videos come out. That uh, is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all for tuning in. And thank all of you who have left feedback and comments because it really does help me provide you with exactly what you're looking for, whether it's the type of content, the length of the content. Um, you know, your feedback is really an invaluable tool because my goal is to provide you with information that you can use both in your personal life and in business. So I want to thank you and encourage you 
to continue the dialogue. And don't forget to share this information with your friends, family, and colleagues, and let them know about utlradio.com, your business success and legal information station.